What a race we had at the first round of the season at Japan. Um, obviously, we had little issue with um, the grid and the grid lineup and the grid start. But um, you know, G Swar's first ever rolling start. Um, you know, went all right. It went all right, I guess. And uh, you know, Hurricane managed to take the race win. Had to face a lot of adversity, um, but managed to bring it home. Tristan finished P2. At one stage, it looked like he was favourite to win the race, with Noah actually rounding off the podiums, you know? Um, so, yeah, definitely. Race 1 was very, very good. Today, we actually have a sprint race at the Australian Grand Prix, but we will be making some changes in terms of how, you know, we do the lobbies. But today, following last weekend's, you know, mess at the start of the Grand Prix, we will, we will be staying inside the lobby. We won't be leaving, so that's always a good sign. Um, hopefully that can go well. I know desync definitely will be more of, um, of a concern, but you know, God willing, we won't have it. Also, happy Easter to everyone as well, you know? Happy Easter. Hope that you're having a very good Easter weekend. I definitely am. Um, and it can only get better with some g Squad action. Um, also, before I start, I would like to tell you guys about our sponsor track titan track titan is a sim racing platform a coaching platform but they will help you go from being a complete nobody in the sim racing world to being the next Jano Otmir you know they will analyze every braking zone every traction zone every corner every straight literally every lap uh, of every race um, you know they'll analyze your data tell you where you can improve and help you find those extra few temps and hundreds of second. Um, use code GSORTT for your first free month, um, along with your first your first paid month being 30% off. So definitely big thank you to Track Titan, the guys at Track Titan. Really appreciate them sponsoring GSOR. And yeah, go check them out. They're cool guys and uh, yeah, let's start getting some invites in, shall we? Today we haven't got Oli Freeman, which is which is a shame, definitely. But um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be enjoying his Easter weekend somewhere else. We may be having a special guest today. Um, I won't expose who that is at this current time, just in case he doesn't turn up. But um, yeah, hopefully the special guest can come today and help commentate with me. And um, yeah. Should be all good, should be all good. Also have a few new faces as well in the, in the paddock. Um, and you know what, today we are expecting quite a, you know, beefy grid. So that should be exciting. Um, let's see you can turn up. Hopefully we can get, as I said, a decent sized grid as we're expecting. And hopefully, we can get, you know, some good racing.
Oi, skip rat. Hello, skip rat. Hope you're doing well. Um, hopefully you can. You will be racing today. Huh? I'm streaming right now. Uh, can my mate race today? If anything needs a resolve. Yeah, I mean, if anything needs a resolve, skip rat. Um, definitely go go ahead with that, man. Go ahead with that. Um, if you're watching, wait. Yeah, go ahead. That's the case. Oh, Gibbo. Evening, mate. Evening. Um, hopefully you can have a good race as well. You know, I know you've got some decent pace. Last season, obviously, it didn't go to plan for you, did it? So, um, yeah. Da -da -da. Oh, the special guest. Hopefully he's coming. Oh, Ollie Freeman. Expecting a Williams 1-2. Oh, why is this guy cleaning his room, man? Um. We don't have practice anymore. Quali starts in 10 minutes. Uh, Gibbo, hopefully Charlie's has three. <laughs> hopefully not, bro. Hopefully not, man. Uh, can you make the sprint? <laughs> Only Freeman's moving mad. My guy's moving mad. Um... Genius may not be making it today, which is a shame. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm just communicating with him right now. Okay, he may be joining midway through, midway through um, the sprint race, so. Yeah. In. It's Tristan in. No, Tristan's not. It's Tristan in. Let's get Tristan in. Ah, he's done it already. What a legend. What a legend, Oli Freeman, man. He's already done it, just as I was about to do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. He's done it already. What, what a G, man. What a G. Um, but, uh, thank you, Oli Freeman. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, yeah, Charlie, man. A lot of new people. A lot of new people. I'm, uh, I miss my bro Oli man, my, my right hand man, my right hand man. Um, t -t -t -t. Very busy today. Ew, I didn't even know who this guy is, Josh Jacob. You know what, I'm not even going to ask questions. I'm grateful we got drivers. He'll be there next week, yeah hopefully so man. We need you back bro, we need you back. Yeah, it's it's tough, bro. It's tough. I'm I'm having to check messages. I'm having to invite people. It's a it's a long one still, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Atomics. Oh, I don't think I don't know if we have enough seats at this rate. Grateful, very very grateful. I'm not complaining. Is J is Jacob going to be racing? J C Blakely. I'm not sure if he is, but...
What are these new brothers, man? <laughs> what a grid! What a grid, man! What a grid! Hopefully, it can go well. There's oh, there's the stream. Uh, Matt, it's gonna be no, no, it's not. It would it would have been full quality, Matt. It would have been, but because of sprint weekend, you see, it's gonna be short quality. Um, let me just say that short quality as it's a sprint. Weekend. Oh man, you know what? Nah, yeah, nah, it's too late to change now. I already said. I already said. Okay. Um. Aston Martin, I like you. How oh, we got seventeen drivers and they have none. Oh well. Um. Yeah, it's going to be uh, short quality, sadly, because it's a sprint weekend. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. Happy Easter to everyone who's just joined as well. Hope that you're having a a good Easter weekend. You know, full quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So exactly, exactly, Oli. Desync is it moves mad sometimes. Desync moves mad. Uh. <laughs> oh my days, it's chaos. Oh, Luigi! Luigi! Wait, we're gonna get 19 drivers at the minimum. Let's wait for Luigi. We can't, we can't not have Luigi, fam. Please, get on, brother. Get on. Whoa, this weekend is going to be lit. It's going to be sick. <laughs> ah, let's go. Is, as a uh, JC Blakely, as he joined. Let me, let me check. He's on F1. He's literally on F1. We could get, we could get uh, a full grid here, ladies and gentlemen. If uh, Luigi joins and JC, well, Jacob, if he can join as well. Jacob, uh, just wait for Luigi. What time is it? Yeah, now nah, we've got to wait for Luigi. Yeah, Ollie, man. Hopefully, we can start our F2 very, very soon, man. But obviously, that's been our dream for a long time, so. Someone leave. I'm really confused now. Uh, where's Luigi? Luigi, bro, please. You're my guy. I don't wanna like. I'll, I'll wait, but only like one minute, man. Come on. It's Luigi and we're fine. That's it. Luigi and we're good. I don't think I can hold pre-race interviews, I can't lie. Not today. I'd love to, but it's uh you know, it's it's quite hectic, so Bro. I don't know, we've got 19 drivers, we're just waiting for Luigi. I've sent this guy a message, when's this guy coming bro? I don't want, I don't want to ditch Luigi. But we're going to have to if he's not coming, I can't lie. 
Luigi's a G. He's a G. Where's Luigi, fam? Where is Luigi? My DMs are going to be exploding if this guy doesn't come soon, man. I might have to go without him, I can't lie, this guy's taking too long. He's not even responded to me. It says we've got... What seat is free? I swear we've got full grid. Oh, Alpha Tauri, Alpha Tauri. Of course. All right. All right, we might have to get started, I can't lie. We are going to have to get started. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, bro, I can't. Like, these guys, man, why, why do they not want... Wait, do you want me to ping Luigi? Yes, please. Bro, let's have a full grid. If the seat's free, the seat's free. Let's ready up. The seat is free. Is free ain't here da 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 oh is wait wait is Noah racing I'm I'm really confused Noah's here. Noah is here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Prediction for Skin Dog. Um, I'll make that prediction in a minute, mate. Um, I'm just a little busy right now. Uh, where is Luigi? He said he's online, man. Ah, there he is. Yep. Done. All right. Full grid, guys. Full grid. Oh, my days is stressful when everyone's yelling. For no reason as well, man. I mean, I get that, like, the other guy, he didn't, like, he's not really gone through the process, and I understand that. But, um, you know, let's have a, let's have a, a full grid, shall we? I don't know why people don't like full grids. Like... That's literally the whole point. Otherwise, we would have done custom cars where we, we only have like 10 drivers so and five teams. So, where's Luigi? I don't see Luigi. Oh, he's here. Let's go. Full grid. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So, prediction for Skin Dog. Um, hmm. It's a big grid today. I'm saying P10, P10, a solid P10. Anyways, all right. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, yep, yeah, before we start, I think I said this before, but um, you know, our proud sponsors are Track Titan. Use code GSWARTT for your first month free and um, your 
first paid month, 30% off. Track Titan are a sim racing platform. They help you. Um, they help you from being nobody in the sim racing um, scene. As we, it's wet. It's wet. It's wet. It's wet. Anyways, let me continue. Let me continue. It's a sim racing platform where they'll help you go from being a no one in the sim racing scene to being the next Yano Opmir. So you know, go go. You know, subscribe to them and yeah let's get into this it's wet as you can see let me um quickly get full screen Ta -da. Ah, here we go it's wet as you can see um my prediction for pole position i haven't got ollie freeman which which is quite upsetting but genius nature should be coming soon he's just doing something uh well, i've just spoiled who wait <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay, so it's just official that Jayco is going to be the reserve driver for Ferrari. I think uh, that's Hoots Force. Oh no, 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 Jayco is Jayco. Sorry, that's not that's on me. That's on me. But anyways, a full twenty drivers today. My prediction for pole position is going to be. There's a few shouts. There's a few shouts. Oli Freeman's not not Oli Freeman. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, there's two shouts. Um, Hurricanes shout. Um, Luigi's a shout. Midget Matt is also a shout. So yeah, definitely. It's, uh, but who do I go with? I'm going to say I'm actually going to say coward for pole position. I'm going to say coward for pole position. Let's see how how that ends up. Um, as we see the two Alfa Romeos out on track. Oh, wow. I can't believe this. We've got full grid again. I don't know what it is. Every time we get full grid, it's raining as well. Whose birthday is it? It's not mine. Oh, oh, he's talking about next week. Anyways, oh man, I need my right hand man, Ollie Freeman. But guess what? The show must go on. The show must go on. Sorry if I if I go quiet. I'm just checking some stuff on the on the Discord. Check comments, this that. But um, as we see, Jacob leaving the garage. Jacob, obviously, I've had a lot of experience when it comes to racing with Jacob. I've got a lot of respect for him. Um, me and Jacob actually, he was in G Squad Gen One Season One. As he goes slightly wide. Um, when you know we both met we both had brilliant battles you know um, on multiple occasion obviously Abu Dhabi we had a very good battle there um, uh, where else did we have a good battle Vietnam when I won you know that's where I famously won my first championship we had a really good battle there Brazil in the finale we had a really good battle there swapping positions so yeah definitely Jacob is um, you know, especially my early early stage of my career, he definitely helped me quite a lot when it came to you know being consistent and being quick. Um, today we've got Park. Oh, someone's bottled it. It's Coward. Coward has bottled it. He's binned it. Um, I think he's just waiting for the other cars to move. Oh, that is not the start. And I predicted this guy to get pole. Don't get me wrong, he might still get pole, but this definitely is not an ideal way to start. Um, he's being very very careful. I don't know if he's got damage. I'm not sure about that one, but um Yeah pff, Must have uh, just dropped it off the final final corner um, There is more yellow flags. Who's that juice little man? There's a car slow It is it's Lil J fam. He's LP now. I didn't even know I've lost count about who's who's at what team now. I'll be honest. Um, oh, the new guy, Hoots, Hoots Force is out. He's binned it. He's binned it. I think this is going to be. It might be a survive. You know. I mean, I don't know how the weather's looking for the rest of the weekend. As Noah sets a one thirty point five, his teammate sets a one thirty point thirty one point nine. Midget Matt sets a one twenty nine point four. Charlie Dawes sets a 128.3 with Gibbo in a sandwich in between with a 
Um, nine. Who else is on the lap? Atomics, he's about to cross the line. Charlie Dorr goes fastest. Juice Philman P2. Atomics is only good enough for fifth on his first run. Who else is on the lap? Hurricane goes fastest. So it's a McLaren 1 2, and look at the gap between Hurricane and Charlie Dorr. One, I don't even know, tenth, hundredth, one thousandth of a second between the two McLarens. What a lap from Hurricane, and also what a lap from Charlie Dorr as Tristan. Sets the lap time to go P3. Jacob now approaching the final corner. What can he do? Jacob, he's managed to get pole position six times in his GSWAR career, all coming in GSWAR Gen 1 Season 1. What can he do this time? Only good enough for P12. But I know there is more pace in Jacob. As Brandon in his GSWAR debut goes off I think is he facing the wrong way yeah he is oh this is uncomfortable this is uncomfortable just wait there Brandon just wait there two Alfa Romeo's coming I think that's a GN7 Mercedes as well yeah you're, you're fine to go now mate it's very very tricky conditions as you can see little J fam again so perhaps a lot's gone wide Sarax is on the lap time wait hold on a minute let me There we go. Still a rookie at this. Still a rookie. As we see, I think I skip right going wide in the background. What can Cyrax do? Comes across the final corner. That's a tricky final corner. We saw Coward go wide. What can Cyrax do? He goes P. P1! P1! For the Canadian on his first run. Very, very interesting now. P1 for Cyrax in his first run. So, the drivers, pretty much almost all the drivers apart from Skin Dog, who is he on the lap? Let me see. Skin Dog, Brandon, and uh, and Sir Fapsalot. Skin Dog, he looks quick. He's got us. So and and this one does look like a you know a decent lap. Tricky, tricky conditions though. He has one more corner to navigate. He's got a Ferrari. Will the Ferrari get in his way? He goes slightly wide. This won't be his best lap, but I'm sure Skin Dog will be going faster from now on now. You know, just getting used to the track. So is everybody else, to be fair. Skin Dog, that lap time is going to put him P9, which is all right. Eight tenths off pole with a little mistake is all right, you know. Um, but yeah, that's the first runs pretty much done. Some drivers now... Um, Matt, I'm not sure. Is he on a is he on a flyer? Uh, I'm not sure if he is. Let me check some of these comments. Um, uh, by the way, I won't read. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine, Luigi. It's fine, bro. <coughs> Yellow flag. Uh, I think that's because an Alfa Romeo is going slow. I think Matt is on a flying lap. An Alfa Romeo is going very, very slow. I think he should be staying out of the way. Two corners to navigate. Will Matt stay out or will he box? He's staying. So he is on a lap. He is on a flying lap. What can Midget Matt do? He's currently P2. Midget Matt crosses the line and oh it's four tenths down four tenths down maybe I think he may have actually fueled a little heavier you know the fact that he's done four laps I think he's taken qualifying with a, a slightly different approach hide UI yeah Nah, I shouldn't hide all the UI. Nah, that should be fine. That should be good. <laughs> Black Crofty indeed. Black Crofty indeed. Crofty with a with five time with five um, more championships, should I say as well? 
Um, Ollie Freeman also thinks coward on pole. So, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Cyrax goes faster. Cyrax goes faster. Hurricane, I think he's on a lap too. It's going to be so interesting. Full grid. I'm so happy, man. Full grid. This is the second time in GSOA history that we've ever got a full grid. Matt, he's just saving his battery. Hurricane, what can he do? This section now of the track is very tricky. Hurricane goes slightly wide, but still manages to keep it on the black stuff. He misses the second apex too, but once again using all of the track. Hurricane's missing quite a few apexes here. Maybe he's fueled to go a little heavier. Because this, this is not the lap. This definitely is not the lap that's, you know, even going to improve. Oh, he will improve, actually. He does improve. He does improve. I, I thought that was, a, you know, the final sector that I saw. I thought it was a little bit iffy, but obviously not. Matt is on his flying lap. Charlie, two. Tristan. Stays P5. Tristan stays P5. Hurricane taking a lot, not Hurricane, sorry, Coward taking a lot of curb on the penultimate corner. I think Coward now is starting his lap. Oh no, no he's not, he's, no he's not. He goes P5, he goes P5. Gibbo now about to end his lap. Taking it very, very, you know, cautiously across the final two corners. And he stays P9. Gibbo stays P9. Oh man, it's hard being commentator when, <laughs> when you're on your own. But you know what, as I said, the show must go on. That's what we do best. That's what we do best around here. There's the yellow flag. Um, who could that be? It surf ups a lot again. I'm not. I'm not sure what the the qualifying tactic is, but um, I don't know if it's working. Oh, Jaco goes wide. I think he's letting some of the drivers through. But uh, yeah, Charlie Door! Charlie go Charlie Door goes P2. So honestly, anyone can get pole. Like, I honestly think anyone in the top five could get pole. That's that's my honest thought. Maybe even top six. Anyone in the top six could get pole. No one's on the lap. Through the high speed S's he goes, he cuts the corner and goes wide. Yeah, that's that's his lap done pretty much. Yeah, I think yeah it's been invalidated as well because he cut the corner, yeah. Yeah, he's he's backed off, he's backed off. Uh who else is on the lap? Uh I think Jacob has just started his lap cuts turn one use a lot of it and has a big moment in turn two big big moment um there's more yellows oh brandon brandon you're fine mate you just if you can spin that no no actually not it's best if he stays there oh he just about managed to get that turn but there's aston martin coming oh good lad good lad uh, and and a McLaren, which is uh, on its outlap. Hurricane is on his outlap. But yeah, no, he did a good job there. He, that that was a dangerous place. He did a very good job. Lil J fam, he's just retired. Um, Skin Dog, what's happened to him? Five place grip penalty for Skin Dog. And you know we're, we're going to be in the same uh, lobby, so no matter what, he will be taking that five place grip penalty. And is that Noah? No one's not happy with Skin Dog. I wonder what's happened. I honestly I don't know what's happened. Has he just received another grip penalty? 
Has he just received the template screen? I'm not quite sure what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. But um, Noah does not seem like a happy man. He does not seem like a happy man indeed. Uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I have no idea what happened there. No, no idea what happened there. But uh, definitely devastating for Skin Dog. Um, P10 would have been a really good place to start. But uh, it looks like now, if he doesn't finish anywhere higher than P10, it looks like he'll be starting last. Few of the top boys now starting their, their flying laps. Sarax. What can he do? He's on provisional pole. Oh, he's had a big moment. He's got the Riz. Sarax, but he saved it. He's kept it out of the walls. He's kept it out of the walls. Big moment. Huge snap or oversteer. He locked the Riz. You could see that. And once you lock the Riz, you're a sitting duck. Quite literally in this weather as well. Oh, has he got enough Urs to go again? He does. He does. He does. He does. Charlie Dore about to start a lap. What can Hurricane do? Matt, I think he's about to finish his lap. One point eight. Maybe he wasn't using us. We know that. We all know it's um the biggest um known secret, I guess, <laughs> the worst kept secret that Matthew Midget Matt does like a double run, you know. So, we'll see what he can do with that. Hurricane now. I think Hurricane's doing the same thing. It, it looks like he hasn't used any others. He's going for the double run as well. Jacob has retired. Um, I'm not quite sure where though. I'm not quite sure where he's retired. I don't think it's on the track though. Ooh! Is that Brandon again? Or is that Skip Rap? This time it's Skip Rap. Coward will not be going faster. He's retired. He's called it a day. Skip Rap has also called it a day. So what can the top boys do then? Charlie Dool. Mitchell Matt has called it a day. So Matt, well, I think Matt's boss binned it. I think Matt's binned it. You can see the yellow flags in the, in the bottom right. You can see the yellow flags in the bottom right of the screen. I think Midget Matt's been there, or maybe he's had contact with Josh. Charlie Dor now, coming across the line. What can he do? It's a 128, he can't go faster. He's got a little bit of earth. I don't know if that'll be enough for him for the full lap. Sarek starts his flying lap now. He locks up. Skin Dog's retired. Skin Dog won't be going any faster today. I don't think Sarek will as well. He's just completely missed the first apex. What about Hurricane? What can Hurricane do? Can he get pole position once again? Back to back pole positions. I'm not quite sure. Actually, I don't think he's on his lap right now. He's not, he's not on his lap. He's not on his lap. He's saving it. I think it's very clever from some of the top boys to save to save their earth for now. It's now or never for Hurricane, the reigning GSR World Champion, the championship leader. Cyrex has retired. Cyrex, I think he's binned it. I actually think Cyrex has binned it once again in these tricky conditions. Just as everyone tries going faster, some of the drivers may be stepping over the limit. Cyrex is on provisional pole, for, but for how long? Can Charlie break that? No, Charlie can't and he's at a really bad middle sector. So, it's only Hurricane really, the man who can steal pole position from his good mate and best friend Cyrax. Juice Steel Man called it a day. What's this middle sector for Hurricane? What's the timing saying? He's down by three tenths. I don't think anyone's going to be able to beat Cyrax. I'm not- Oh, he's gone wide! No one's been given a 5 place grid penalty for something. I'm not quite sure why, as I think the Red Bull's just parked it up on the side of the track. I think he's got damage or something. I, I, no, I, I don't know. Maybe an issue. Maybe- oh, or something, but... What a qualifying session. And Hurricane right now is the only man who can 
try and steal pole position today. He goes wide. No, he won't be stealing pole position. So pole position goes to Sarax for the second time in his Jiswa career. Sarax has pole position. What a lap from the Canadian. A 127.978 in these very tricky conditions. Charlie Dool will be starting on P2 right beside him with Hurricane P3. Charlie Dool out qualifying his teammate. A really, impress a really impressive job from Charlie Dool and he's not been feeling 100% this week as well. So very, very well done to Charlie, Do Charlie Dool. Midget Matt looks like he will be starting P4 with Coward P5. Tristan will be starting P6 for the sprint race. Luigi, the best he can do is P7, Noah, P8, oh wow, what a qualifying session though, what a session we, we were treated to, wow, yeah here, here it is, so, uh, what was I, Noah, P8, Gibbo, P9, Skin Dog, P10, Juice Stillman, P11, with Jacob in P12, Atomics, P13, not his best effort, we know he can do better than that with Rocky P14. Brandon on his debut, P15, with Bezzy on his actual debut, P16. Obviously we saw Bezzy, what he could do in um, pre-season. Skip Rat struggled, got beaten by his teammate, P17 is all he could do, with Josh on his debut, P18. Surf Absolot, P19, couldn't get a proper lap in with Hoots Force on his debut, qualifying P20. A few drivers have been given grid penalties. Um, but yeah, wow, what a qualifying session. Cyrax, congratulations to him on getting pole position. Um, let's see what the what the comments say, are saying. Mm -mm. Now that's it really for the comments. Um, Mm -mm. I've been pinged. That's all right. There has been a few steward reports. Um, so that's a lot. Definitely, he's put one in as we see the formation lap. Uh, just to make things clear, the, the um, grid penalties will be applied for the race. Sorry, that was... I thought it was going to be qualifying, but the, that, yeah, that's on me. No. Oh! So, Fapsolo, I see why he's not happy. Oh, what's going on? Sarix is having a very slow um, formation lap. As Rocky, he's been uh, sent to the grid already. Haas, they've really struggled this season. Um, obviously, they finished third in the constructor standings last season. Um, so yeah, this season definitely it's, it's been a tricky one. Uh, what are my predictions for today's Grand Prix? I think I'm going to say the race winner. I don't know. If Cyrix can keep it out of trouble, definitely him. But I think the McLarens are definitely going to make it hard for them. McLaren, they've you know they've done a brilliant job this season, and uh, you know Tyler should be very very proud. Even Ollie Freeman, I know he's watching. He's done a lot for McLaren. Um, so um, yeah, there's the race strategy. Obviously now Ollie Freeman, team principal of Williams, one of the greatest teams in GSW history. Um, but obviously when he was at McLaren, he did a lot. So yeah, definitely shout out to him. A uh, few drivers have been sent to the back of the grid, which is uh, unfortunate to say the least. Uh, let me copy text. Where's the now? Was ah, self promo. Drop that there. All right, cool. Yep, just before we start, I'd like to say, you know, big shout out to our sponsor, Track Titan, once again. Um, remember to use code GSWRTT. 
um, when you go on to Track Titan for your first month free and your first paid month 30% off. Uh, Track Titan is a sim racing platform where you know they analyze your data, analyze um, every braking zone to every corner to every uh, lap of every race. Uh, they'll help you find every little you know tenth, every little hundredth in terms of you know being going from being a complete no one in sim racing community to being the next Yano Okmir. So yeah, shout out to uh, uh, Track Titan and without further ado, we see our last car, Hootsforce, lining up on the grid. One light up, two lights up, three lights up, four lights up, five lights are up. Lights out and away we. Lights out and away we go. Here we go. We had a little lag there. Sarax, it looks like he's got a decent getaway. Charlie two. Charlie into turn one. Oh, Charlie's been hit. Charlie's been. Oh, Charlie's out. Charlie's out already. Disaster for Charlie two. He's out even before he reaches turn two. Jacob has also had a moment as well. Oh, Charlie Do! Charlie Do! Coward is now leading the sprint race. We know Coward's records round here. Coward is the most successful G Squad driver round the streets of Albert Park. But oh my days, Cyrax and Charlie Do have come together. Not even on, not even two corners. Not even two corners had passed. Disaster for Charlie Do and McLaren. Josh, he's also been given a penalty. Um, I'm sure we'll see, you know, what happened later. But uh, it's only a VSC. I'm, I'm surprised there's not a full safety car. Maybe it's because Charlie's car was very close to um, an escape route. But uh, what a start from Coward. I mean, the lights went off and it took, it, it felt like it took forever for everyone to go out. Um, as we, we go racing again, we go green. I'm not quite sure if... Um, if uh, Cyrax has damage, as Midget Matt catches Hurricane sleeping, Midget Matt now into P3 on his racing comeback. Obviously, he missed the first Grand Prix, but it looks like he's back here to score some good points. Um, further back, we have Brandon and uh, and Sir Fapsalot having a little battle. So yeah, but anyways, Cal oh, some lockups further back. Juice, little man, has been given a five second uh, time penalty for speeding as we see the two hasses going side to by side, but no, nothing can, uh, can succumb from that. Coward, building his lead, 0 0.6 seconds. Look at Midget Matt though, Midget Matt all over the rear wing of Cyrax. This corner famously is where George Russell had his big crash with Fernando Alonso. Midget Matt in that same Mercedes Manages to come out escape. Midget Matt's got a really good exit. Cyrax is going to go defensive. Side by side, the two go. DRS is not even activated yet. Side by side, the two almost touch. Brilliant racing from Cyrax and Midget Matt. Can Midget Matt get the move done? Yes, he can. What a move from the British born Cypriot into P2. Cyrax, you know he won't be giving up, especially when DRS becomes enabled. Next lap. Further back, we have Hurricane and Luigi battling for P4 and P5. What a sprint race that we've been treated to so far. Noah secretly has had a really good start in P6, you know, just going about his everyday's work nice and quietly. With Tristan and Bezzy finishing off the top eight. Obviously, Bezzy struggled a little bit in, um, in pre-season, but it looks like he's had a, a good start so far. Um, we're seeing some overtakes here. Tristan down the inside of Noah. He's going for the move. And he makes it stick as Luigi also tried a move on um, on on Hurricane. Midget Matt though is flying, he's starting to close that gap. The gap, remember, when Midget Matt um, took P2 was 1.1 seconds. Now the gap is 0 0.8. As we have some yellows, I think Brandon may have had a little off. Midget Matt is the fastest second sector. Midget Matt is flying. Obviously, we saw his pace in the pre-season race round Bahrain. That Williams though looks very, very quick down the straight. I think Oli Freeman has managed to invest quite a lot in the in the car's engine, in the Williams engine and um and in the you know in the in the downfall in the low downforce. I think Cyrax is gonna have a, a go here. No he's not further back we have Luigi and Hurricane battling. Luigi where is he? He's gone wide Luigi's gone wide Oh no, Luigi! I'm really confused. 
I don't know what's going on. Am I lagging? Is he lagging? Um, I'm a bit confused. Something's happened further back. Something's happened further back. Jacob and Hoots Force. No, Jacob and Rocky, sorry. As Sarex now sets fastest up. He's only three tenths behind Midget Matt. Let's get back to that battle for P2. Sarex, he's got DRS enabled. But no, he can't make, he, he's not making the move now. He's staying behind. Sensible stuff from the pole sitter. We're already almost halfway through this race. What a Grand Prix we've been, um, we've been uh, treated to so far. What a sprint race. Further back, Skin Dog is in P8. He's had a decent race. Obviously, I think he'll be having a 10 place grid penalty. Um, which, you know, he managed to get from... Um, which he managed to get from qualifying. Coward, though. I think he's using his Urs quite cleverly. But as I say that, Midget Matt closes that gap. Sarek, though, all over Midget Matt's rear wing. Can he do anything? No, not this time. It's way too far away for a move to be done. Skipra manages to get the move done on Bezzy. He moves into P11. But this definitely is the battle on track. Definitely, this is where all eyes are going to be faced. The battle for P2 and P3. Even P1, you know. Coward's in this battle too. Something's happened. Jacob's out. Jacob, in his GSR return, is out into VSC. BSC. I think Jacob's had a, a moment, um, as you can see on the minimap, down the straight. So, um, definitely, I think, hopefully he's okay, because that's a, a very, very quick part of the circuit. Is anyone pitting? Noah boxes. Brandon! Drive through for speeding behind safety car. Where is the car? I think the stewards may have removed the car. So we won't know if it was a mechanical issue or... Oh, it's a full safety car! It's a full safety car! So maybe it actually was a hit. Maybe it was a, an incident. So who's gonna box? Who's gonna box? Juice Hillman has already boxed. Let's see. Yep, Noah has boxed, Juice Hillman has boxed, and Rocky obviously has boxed too. Luigi, he can now, Rocky's going to be given a drive through for speeding under safety car as well. Boys, come on. We're better than this. We're better than this, boys. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole grid is going to be, um, you know, the, everyone's going to get back literally right next to each other. But that's really unfortunate for Charlie Duel, man. Um, I don't think he's going to want a word now. Um, but yeah, I think... Are they going to pit? Are the leading boys going to pit? No. Oh, oh, oh! Sarax! Sarax! Sarax is boxed. He's boxing. Sarax is in. Hurricane stays out. So Sarax is taking the gamble. He's going to go on to softs. He will go on to softs. Yep, you can see the red paint. You can see the red strip on those tires. He's on the softs. But the, the, he's gonna have to overtake a lot of cars. I'm not sure if this was the right choice, I'll be honest. I'm not sure. I don't know if this was the right choice, Cyrax. I think you, you, you and Alfa Romeo may have just made the wrong choice. I think you guys may have just made the wrong choice. Um, now that, you know, everything's kind of relaxed a little bit. Uh, any shout outs? Um, I mean, I guess, you know, Skin Dog P6, Atomics P7, Gibbo P8, and Skip Rat P9, and even Bezzy, Bezzy, he's had a decent race too. Um, but yeah, that's about it, really. This is, I guess, where you could say um, the odds kind of, you know, they weren't too far away. Um, Obviously, the odds of Coward winning, I think, one of the betting odds. Obviously, I don't encourage gambling, so definitely not, don't do it. And, you know, if, if you do gamble from time to time, remember, when the fun stops, stop. We don't want you losing all your money. Um, but, um, yeah, the odds of Coward winning were actually 6 to 1. So, I think he was, oh, as we see, I think two cars looked like they were fighting. No, uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on, really. It's a little bit confusing, but uh, what's going on here? Oh, there, there we go, there we go. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, Coward, I think, was actually the third favorite to win this. Obviously, I know it's a sprint race, but uh, just getting that out there, just getting that out there. 
if Coward were to win, it wouldn't be a huge surprise, you know. We know Coward's pace, we know Coward loves the circuit. Most successful driver in the GSOR history round the circuit and round Australia itself, he is the second most behind myself. But obviously that was when we used to race at Bathurst. So a little bit different. Um <laughs> Um uh, I need people talking to focus. Uh, yeah, I mean, Brandon, you can always speak to your teammates. You can always speak to your teammates. Um, yeah, try, try, try get some communication with your teammates or someone. Um, obviously, there was that new rule implemented about the teammate thing. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good, Brandon. Um, but yeah, what a race that we've been. Um, mm -mm -mm. What a race that we've been given so far. I just hope the safety car can um, enter the pits right now. But this definitely is going to be exciting, you know. I think, Coward, you, we saw Midget Matt's pace. Definitely. That cannot be undisputed. You know, Midget Matt, since the back end of last season, I think it's safe to say he has been the fastest driver. So when safety car goes in, it's going to be really, really exciting. Coward, Midget Matt, Hurricane, Tristan, even Luigi on those old um, soft tyres could, could, pose, could pose a threat so honestly it's, it's going to be interesting hopefully the safety car, safety car can go in now um, what are race control saying? Um, if, if the safety car is going to come in now yeah it's coming in it's coming in the safety car is coming in this lap no we're not we, we can't restart the lobby Noah we can't, we can't restart the lobby. Um, yeah, anyways. Eyes all on the racing now. When is Coward gonna go? He wants this win. We know how quick he's been around here. Obviously, he's managed to win two sprint races in the past. So definitely, Coward, he knows how to get a good getaway. And I think he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Midget Matt, P2. What can he do? When is he going to be aggressive? We know how clever Midget Matt is with Hurricane P3. Further back, I think everyone's come out alive. Yeah, everyone's alive, everyone's behaved themselves, and everyone's come out unscathed. There has been a little bit of contact. We saw a little bit of damage on the end of turn two, I think. Oh! Matt! Matt! Oh, Matt! He's falling, he's fading, he's fading away. I just saw the last part. I think Tristan hit Matt's rear. I don't know if Matt had a moment beforehand, but this is huge in the context of the race weekend. Midget Matt has now fallen and Noah's retired too. Noah's retired. At the same corner, George Russell had this big off. Scenes at Australia. I think that has just saved Coward. And I think now Coward, oh, Skin Dog's gone off, I think. <coughs> Skin dog's gone off. Atomics and skin dog go side by side. Who's gonna come ahead? Skin dog is gonna get his elbows out. But Atomics manages to steal P5. What a race from Red Bull P4 and P5. Don't forget, skin dog will be getting a penalty. Gibbo wants some too. Gibbo wants a piece of this. Sarax, don't forget, he's on the fresh soft tires, so he's gonna be rapid. Side by side, the two go. Sarax using his urge. This is going to be too close, this is going to be tight. Sarex might have to back off though. Is he going to give up? Yes, he's just going to back off. Sarex is smart, he's smart. He knows he's going to get a better run. Off turn two, he goes again. Can he get him? Oh, Skin Dog sending it! Oh! Skin Dog! He's made contact with Atomic and Atomic's his front wing. Just as I was saying, what a race from the Red Bull boys. Skin Dog goes down the inside and Atomic's just does not have a front wing anymore. Whilst that's all happening, Coward now is opening his legs, is spreading his legs. He's building that gap. And the gap now is 3.3 seconds to the reigning world champion, Hurricane, with Luigi P3. Luigi took the gamble to start on the softs. It looks like it's working for now. But I'm not quite sure if he can. Uh, it's only one more lap. He should survive. But Tristan, we know how hungry he can get. Sarek, though, he's been making inroads. 
Another brilliant move from Cyrax. Cyrax has been racing out of his skin so far this season. He's been doing a brilliant job. Oh, Jusil Man's had a big moment. Huge snap of oversteer. But manages to catch it. Gibbo now can smell blood. DRS is enabled. Will Gibbo be able to get the move done? There's yellow flags further back. Um, Gibbo, there he is. Side by side. Gibbo, I think he's backing off though. He's waiting for the DRS. Gibbo can smell blood of his old team. Will Gibbo be able to get the move done? I, not, not here, not here, definitely not here. Too far back. Whilst that's all happening, let's have a check on what's going on behind. Atomics is having a battle with Skin Dog and Sir Fapsalot. Oh, Atomic. Oh, I think they touched. They touched. Yeah. Oh, what a disaster. This is a mess. A mess. A mess further down. Skin Dog will not be a happy man. Midget Matt, though, he's going to be. He's going to be. In, you know, he's gonna be feeling that pain. Midget Matt, definitely, you've got to feel for the young man. You've got to feel for him. Anyways, back to Gibbo and Juice Hillman. Juice Hillman now has managed to increase the gap a little bit. I think, yeah, Gibbo, he's got to watch Josh. Josh is all over him. Josh is gonna try to go around the outside. He's gonna try it. No way, is Josh gonna make it work? No, he goes wide. Josh goes wide. And Skip Pratt, he's good, mate, Skip Pratt. Will he overtake? No, he won't. So it looks like Josh, in his debut, will be getting points. But Coward crosses the line to win the sprint race. Hurricane just about pips Luigi to P2. Luigi P3, Tristan P4, Cyrax P5, Juice, <coughs> Juice Hill Man P6, Gibbo brings home P7. Josh on his debut P8, Skip Rat P9, Atomics will be bringing home P10. Um. Surf Absolot retires just before he hits the line and then there's a the mess at the back. Oh, you can see Surf Absolot over there. I hope he's alright. But, uh, oh, what a sprint race, ladies and gentlemen. What a sprint race. I'm about to lose my voice. I might need a cough sweet, man. But, uh, wow. That was a lot of action there, wasn't there? Um. Oh, I think Genius has said something. Hopefully not. Alright, 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 alright. Cool, 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 cool. Um they're not there. What a race. So you, you can see the points there. You can see the points. Um but uh is he online? Is my man online? Let me see. Uh wait, hold on a minute. Alright, bro. I'm going to send the invite. <clears throat> All right. Um, I hope nobody left. I did say everyone stays in lobby, so uh, hopefully they listened. Um, all right. Ah, here he is, the goat, the goat, genius nature. All right, he'll be coming in a minute. Um, let me just send the invite quickly. Here he is, here he is, all right, 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 I've sent the... F1 game. <coughs> Formation lap for the race start. Uh... Hopefully Genius can join us just before the race start. There. Alright, say no more, say no more. So, here's our grids for today. Coward, starting on pole position, a place which he knows very, very well around the streets of Australia, of Albert Park specifically. 
Um, I think he's managed to get, is it two pole positions? One or two pole positions around here. Um, he's managed to get two sprint race wins and one uh, main race win. That main race win he had was in uh, Gen 3 Season 2. There was a little bit of controversy when he hit Dino Bambino to get that win. Everyone still remembers it like he was yesterday, but managed to get the win. He can double that today and be the first man in GSOR history to win twice around this circuit. Um, Hurricane, Championship Leader, P2, with Luigi P3, Tristan P4, Cyrax sign P5, uh, Juice Little Man P6, Gibbo P7, Skip Rat P8, Atomics P9, Hoots Force and Rocky Boy P10 and 11, Bezzy P12, Josh on his debut P13, uh, Midget Matt P14, uh, Surf Axelot P15, Brandon P16, Jacob P17, Charlie Jewel P18, Noah P19 and Skin Dog P20. Hold on a minute, actually, let me send. Uh, I'm so dumb, man. Um, let me do this instead. Let me do this instead. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, PlayStation's a bit slow right now. Uh, invite. Alright, let me get. <coughs> Here we go. Alright. So, haha. <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for Skin Dog parks his car in the last grid slot one lights up two lights up three lights up four lights up five lights are up lights out and away we go here in um albert park once again it takes a while for um for the lights to go out dion i think he might be getting a penalty soon i'm really uh anyways does everyone come out cleanly Yeah, I think so. I think Dion jumped the start. I'm 99% sure Dion jumped the start. Um, anyways, hold on a minute. Hello? Wait, hold on a minute. Um, ah, hello? Can you hear me? Yo, genius. How are you, bro? It's been a long time, man. How's things? Ah, uh, I love to hear that. Love to hear that, man. Back in some GSOR. Obviously, do you see the race start? Oh, uh, but I think Bezzy jumped the start. I can't lie. Coward is basically P1. Uh, Hurricane P2, Luigi P3. And, uh, yeah, you can see the rest of the grid. I think Matt's making some positions. Uh, we're, we're live on stream, by the way. So, yeah. So yeah, this is Genius Nature, the special guest I was talking about earlier, GCR Icon. Um, as we see, Luigi's trying to move on Hurricane. Can he get the move done? No, he can't. Not this time. Not this time. Gibbo, Gibbo and Cyrax having a battle. Uh, not Gibbo and Cyrax, sorry. Cyrax and Atomics having a battle. But Cyrax stays ahead. He manages to keep keep his position. Everyone's behaved themselves so far, you know. I was expecting, um, you know, a lot of carnage. I mean, Skipper, I think he's got a little bit of damage. He's boxed lap one. Um, but yeah, obviously, this is the second time in G4 history that we have a full grid. So it should be interesting. <coughs> now the top three have dispatched Bezzy. I think he has got a little bit, you know, some lag issues. Which explains why he's just falling down the grid and why, you know, he started before everyone else. There's the race strategy. Soft to medium can work um, if you're willing to be brave, but medium hard. That's definitely going to be <coughs> the tyre that the majority of the grid go for. The, the strategy. Coward started on the hards, so he's done a really good job building um, almost half a second gap to Hurricane. But as you can see, Hurricane's all over the rear wing of the Scotsman. DRS will be enabled this lap, so we'll see what they can do. 
Hurricane sets fastest lap with 121.3. He's flying. But don't forget, he's on the medium tyres. What was that? Sarak, oh, on, uh, on Atomics. Yeah. They're having a really good battle there. <clears throat> really, really good battle. But Coward, he's just being smart with his tyre conservation. He's, he's taken the risky approach. There's a VSC. What's happened? Matt's boxed. Same as Noah. Was there, was there contact further back that we, that may, we may have missed? I'm not sure. <clears throat> the VSC, VSC. Um. Mm -mm. Wait, can you increase the volume of your um mic? Cheers. All right, speak. Wait, say something, genius. Yeah. I'm all right, all right. It's much better. It's it's, it's calm. It's calm. It's calm. All right, I couldn't really hear you before. <coughs> but yeah, this is the special guest I was telling everyone about. Uh, this is Genius Nature, uh, a GCR icon, a multiple time GCR race winner. And you know, in another universe, a GCR world champion. So um, yeah, it's obviously very, very nice having you here, man. It's been a while, man. How have you been? It's good to be here. It's good to be here. I thought I might as well just check back on how things are going. Mm. This league has changed. It's a lot different to when I was in. <laughs> Back in your heyday, mate. Back in my heyday. Yeah. So I'm past my prime now. So. Ah, Jesus. Of the younger generation. Mm. I like this. But you know, some of the old heads are still here. The old heads, like Coward, they're still here. As we go racing, and Sarax, big new Sarax has been given a drive-through penalty for speeding under the VSC. So that could change everything. Where is Sarax? P7. I think Gibbo has been penalised too. So the VSC catching some of the drivers out. Coward now has managed to actually extend his gap to 1.6 seconds. I think Hurricane was being a little cautious when VSC was out. He's fallen into the clutches now of Luigi, who's got DRS. <clears throat> no, he can't get him. He won't be able to get him. What was that, genius? He was under a ton of pressure there, Hurricane. I don't know what he did uh, at the end of the VSC there. Mm. He was going around the outside. He's got him. And he's done the move there. Mm. I know um, the race. I know the race has started, but who do you think is going to win today's Grand Prix? I mean, looking at the <coughs> uh, way it is now. Howard is fairly dominant here. Yeah, Har Hurricane struggling. Sorry to cut you off there. Hurricane struggling. Tristan's all over him. I don't think Tristan will make the move stick though. He's going to be sensible. He's going to wait till the next DRS zone. Yeah, continue. Yeah, obviously Cowd has a strong track record here in Melbourne. So, you know, he's already has the, um, the mental game figured out. He's mm. like putting that into action now. And he's clearly doing that on the track now. Yeah. Definitely, I think mentally, you know, that little reset that he had when he left and now he's returned um, did help him quite a bit to, uh, you know, just mentally focus. Um, as Jacob has left the session, he might need to be re invited soon. Um, but yeah, definitely his favourite round here. However, Luigi's closing rapidly. The man who many said was robbed of the World Championship last season wants to, you know, get his championship campaign off to a good start. Obviously, at race one back at Suzuka, he had that little incident and he ended up being P8 in the first race of the season. But, you know, obviously he wants to um, make up for that because he, he's further down in the championship than he would have wanted to. <coughs> Gibbo and Sarax having a little battle there. That's something just to keep, you know, an eye on. Little battle here as well, Juice Lil man. Huh? Oh yeah, so true. Just like that, Luigi now takes the lead of the race, lead of the Grand Prix. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Charlie Daw. He's had a very good race so far. Charlie Dole qualified. Um, he qualified P as uh, I think Hoot's face. Had, he's had a moment. Qualified. He. Oh, sorry. Wait. What's happening here? Hurricane and Tristan. They're going toe to toe with it. 
I think Hurricane's gonna get DRS. Is he gonna go around the outside? Surely not. It's gonna be risky. They're gonna touch. They touch. But they've respected each other. Oh, this is so close. Hurricane's gonna go down the inside. Tristan's gonna have to back off. And what a move from Hurricane. But it's not done yet. It's not done yet. Oh. And now it is. It still isn't. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Brilliant stuff! But I think he's gonna get DRS! Oh, it's DRS! It's gonna go down the inside! The Red Bull has the superior straight line speed to the McLaren! And he manages to make that look easy! What a battle between the, the Dutchman and the American! Hurricane's had a moment! He had a big moment at the, at the exit of turn one! What a brilliant battle, though! Mmm! Sarax is pitted. Sarax is pitted. He's come out just ahead of Rocky and Skin Dog. That's very important. But anyways, what I was saying is Charlie Dill, he qualified P2. I think he was less than a tenth um, to pole position, so he narrowly missed out. But obviously, him and Sarax made contact at turn one in the sprint race, sending, well, Charlie DNF'd on lap one of the sprint. Started from the back of the grid and now is sitting P6. This has to be one of the drives of the season if you can maintain this. It will soon be P5 once he overtakes Bezzi as well. Um, let me see. JC. Nice. Nah, oh, there he is. Howard is probing around Luigi, waiting to strike him. It's like a, it's like a predator watching his prey almost. Mm. Those that take the lead back off of him, it's just a matter of time and a matter of a question of when will he do it. Mm. Down the main street, might have a look, possibly, I think, nah, not down this street, but maybe towards the end of this lap, may have a look at Luigi, try and get the lead back. And you know what, it's around now the hard tyres start coming in, you know, the hard tyres start working over the, the mediums. True. That might give Kyle the advantage. Yeah, Matt though, ah, oh, what a bad, bad weekend it's been for Matt. He's he's had the pace to be top, you know, podium, top three. He was up actually fighting for the race win in the sprint race, but because of that one error at the restart of the sprint race, um, you know, it's just everything's just gone downhill since then. It's a shame. It's a shame. Mm. Well, that's how it is in racing sometimes. That is, and now. Ooh. That was close, very close. Yellow flag in sector one is back to being green, but yeah, there is. A, you know, Matt's having a good battle with Noah and uh, and so Fabtolo. He's been pushed. Matt's wow, oh, midget Matt. No, he got pushed off the track by Noah. That's how I saw it. I'd need a, a replay to see. You know what else happened, but um, yeah, definitely, midget Matt's had a horrible weekend, and Noah's retired. And so perhaps a lot. I think they may have hit. Oh, red flag! Red flag, it must have been a big one. Red flag. Red flag, red flag. Red flag, it must be. I hope they're okay. I missed it. I missed it as well. I hope they're okay. It's a serious incident. Mm. Goodness. Jeez. Noah's not going to be happy. Noah is not going to be happy. But you know what? Drivers like drivers like Midget Matt have just been saved. Their race has just been saved. Chat is about to heat up now. Mmm. You guys already started. Oh mate, there's gonna be some punches being thrown in the paddock, man. Oh, Ollie Freeman, Ollie Freeman. Let's go, Noah is out again. No, Ollie Freeman sounds like a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a happy, happy man. Well, here we go again. Two lights up, three lights up, four lights up, five lights up for the race restart. And it's lights out and away we go again. Bezzy's AI doing weird things. But, um, yeah. Cow's had a bad start. Tristan's had a really good start. Tristan takes the lead. He leads the Grand Prix. 
on the soft tyres. He's going risky, Tristan. But Luigi's still there. Cower too. There's yellow flags further back. I wonder what's going on. But what a start from Tristan. Oh, I think Skin Dog spun. Skin Dog has spun. And the two Ferraris. The two Ferraris have both spun simultaneously as well. And a horrible day for the Ferraris. Mm. Horrible day for the Ferraris. Cow is falling. He's fading. Cow's on fresh mediums as well. But he's gonna try, he's gonna try and get Luigi back. He's gonna try to go around the outside. What a move from Coward! What a move! But Luigi's still there. Immediate counter attack. not having that Wow, brilliant stuff. Sound's gone, sound's gone off. <gasps> Cyrax! Cyrax! No! Cyrax! Cyrax has gone off and he's got damage! He's got damage! Cyrax has gone off and he's got damage! Oh no! Cyrax, another, another. Oh! What's going on in the back? Oh! What is going on? What happened, genius? I, I just saw debris flying everywhere. Me too. The Alpines must have been deuced. Must have hit the wall or something. I just saw the debris flying everywhere and BSC deployed. I think I saw Charlie get some damage too. I think Charlie's got damage. Atomics doesn't have a front wing. Atomics does not have a front wing. Neither does Juice Lil Man. It's all kicking off. Safety car. Safety car. We always get crazy races around Albert Park and once again this has happened. Many drivers making their debut, which has been very, very controversial because some haven't even signed up. But you know, the game's the game, and um, well, we get to witness another race restart. Um, this is this must be very infuriating for the leading pack. Yeah. They make all that effort to try and get to the front, only for it to go to nothing. Mm. Safety car, red flag. So Tristan must be punching the air right now. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely, mate. Bezzy, I mean, I think he's actually in AI, so... I mean, if he doesn't join in the next few laps, he'll actually uh, be counted as a, as a DNF. As he wouldn't have raced more than half of the Grand Prix. But, um, if Bezzy does rejoin, I mean, his AI is P2, so he'll be loving life. But, um, what a chaotic race. No time to breathe. What a race, man. I mean, Midget Matt, remember we were saying what a bad weekend it's been from him. He was running last. Look at him now, P7. Very true. It's all just testing the how of safety if I can change your entire race. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I don't know who could win this. I mean, you know, even Cyrax still has a chance of winning this. I know it's P18 right now, but we're not even halfway through the race. Exactly. Yeah. I am expecting Tristan to make another pit stop. I don't see those soft tires going to the end of the race. But the more pit stops there are for Tristan, the better it is for his tires. You know, the more he can save his tires and you know just go long. I think McLaren. I don't know man, I, they've had a really good season so far, I mean, I think they're actually leading the Constructors title, World Championship, but, um, and on pure pace, definitely, I'd say they are one of, if not the outright fastest car, outright fastest team, but they've got to keep their wits about, because anything can happen as we've already seen. I think the nature of this race so far has not really been about pace, it's about survival, mm. stay alive in the race. I think just hope for the best at that point because you see, uh, you see drivers going onto track, having incidents, losing front wings, losing parts of their car. And now they're up here in the in the top in the top ten. Yeah. Skip that. Look at midget man. Even Hoots Force. Even Hoots Force as well. Hmm. You've got guys like Jacob and Brandon just outside of the points paying positions, and then you've got you know, 
drivers who are at the back who don't deserve to be at the back, such as Cyrax, you know, especially he's the big name that that you know jumps out. Let's see him a lot further up, but unfortunately, mm. you know, given the nature of this race, he's been punished. But let's see if he can rectify it. Yeah. I believe he can. <sighs> wow. I mean, a lot of things has changed since uh, you were last in GSO, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of things has changed, man. What's going on here with Midget Matt and, uh, and Josh? Back in my day, safety car. It only happened like once. <laughs> <in> two seasons. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, those were good days, man. Gen 2 era was good. Oh, I still haven't spoken to Beast Mode since that day, you know that? Yeah. I was looking back at the calendar, and it's almost two years since um, the finale a safety car comes in. But yeah, it's almost been two years. Yeah. Which is crazy. Obviously, the finale was April, April the second, uh, twenty twenty-two in Gen two. Wow. So, <clears throat> yeah, literally, man. Uh, we've gone through a lot, haven't we? We've gone from the Formula B days, the Formula Q days, the Gen one, Gen two era, and now we're here, man. Now we are here, commentating together, man. It's all come full circle. All that needs to happen is, you know. Get back in the car one more time. Yep. Hopefully win another championship. Who knows, man? But, um, yep. The green flag has been dropped. When is Tristan going to go? I mean, for Tristan, he's lucky because he's got a bit of a buffer to um, to Luigi because Bezzy's in the way and he goes quite early, actually. Man, look at the McLarens. They're together. This is going to be awkward. Matt's going to send it. And he makes it, he makes it stick. But oh, Charlie has to go off the track. Oh, he's forced him. He's forced him. Oh, he's got a puncher. He's got a puncher. He's got a puncher. Oh, skip us out. Skip us out. Oh. Jeez, again, another safety car. Boys, what's going on today? Matt, I don't know if you'll be able to bring it back to the pits. Disaster for Midget Matthew. I don't know if Matt will be able to bring it back. Oh, Matthew, you have to feel for the guy. Oh, Skip Pratt is out. Skip Pratt is out of the race. Matt's got a punch up and he's got no front wing. Just as we were saying, we were literally saying, Matt has had a really, you know, he's gone from being last to going up to, you know, the top, the top 10. And now he's back to square one. Oh, man. Genius, do you think he can bring that car home? I don't know if he can. He's going so slowly. I mean, looking at his current condition, goodness, he's limping that thing. Mm. He's, he's way too slow in my opinion. He's going to have to stop that. Yeah. Oh, it's heartbreak for Midget Matt. Disaster, man. He's ambitious, taking that move down the inside. I mean, the Atomics is out. Is. Atomics is out. What is going on today in GSUR? I think he's been brake checked. Oh, actually, no. What? Matt's speeding up, you know. Oh, is he? He might have a chance to limp his back home. And hopefully, rectify the problem. But look, Dad, this guy looks terrible. Yeah. Looks it's bad. It's bad. He's running on board. Atomics is out. Atomics is out. Tristan Pitts! Tristan Pitts! I'm surprised! That I is an interesting move. I know that he was on softs, don't get me wrong, I know he was on softs and he probably would have had to pit but I'm telling you one thing that I've learned today and that is you don't want to be making your way through the field today, you know. The best place, exactly, the best place to be is in first where you dictate your own pace, you dictate your own race. He's taken that risk, you know, maybe he was forced in doing it but he's taken that risk to box now, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if that was the right move. Maybe it was tactical though, because in the last restart, obviously he had a bit of a buffer because Bezzy was under AI. Yeah, but true. Now, obviously, Luigi and Coward have both overtaken him. Mm. Now he's going to be under pressure to have a good restart. So potentially he's just doing it to just, you know, have a bit of peace on the start, let the cons happen in front of him, and then hopefully pick up the pieces from there. Yeah. Who do you think's at fault with what happened with Midget Matt? I mean, what I saw, 
Um, it was, you know, Matt went for a move on Charlie. Charlie came back on the track. Um, I don't know if they, those two touched, but then Matt was on the grass and I assume he'd hit the wall. That's how he got his puncher. Well, I saw similar to what you saw. So I saw Matt going down inside, trying it obviously, and then he gets the move done, kind of, and then Charlie goes off the track, comes back on, and I think it's during the rejoining process, and they make contact, and then obviously that involved Matt going off and hitting the wall. Oh no, Atomics, did you see how he DNF'd? Yeah. Oh, so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. So, today we have four drivers. We have, oh! Our, uh, Charlie Dawes pitting to change his front wing. Uh, but we have four drivers who have DNF. We have Noah, we have Surf Absolute, we have Skip Rat and Atomics. So I'm, to be honest, I'm surprised we have 16 drivers so far. Really but guess what? The, the That's yeah, such a sad way to go out. Mm. That is unfortunate, man. Absolutely no fault of his own. Mm -hmm. Hurricane's pitted too. Has he pitted? What on earth's happened to Hurricane? What's happened to Hurricane? Genius! What's happened to Hurricane? He's just fallen! He's just gone down the places. He must have had a moment or something. I need to see if he's got damage. I don't think he's got damage. Oh, what a race today. I mean, it's been action packed, hasn't it? Very much so. Um, interviews after the race are going to be interesting, I think. Of course. Most is going to be high after a race like this. Yeah. Sure. I mean, what I was about to say until I just realised that Hurricane had fallen is that the top boys, Luigi, Coward, you know, and Hurricane at the time, out, you know, ev out of everything that's happened, they've stayed at the top. They've stayed as the leading pack. <coughs> Hurricane's falling! He's falling! What is going on? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he's got mechanical issues or what. The world champion has just gone from being basically P3 to falling all the way down to P13. I mean, shout out to the two debutants. In Hoots, in uh, Hoots Force and, and Brandon. Jacob, obviously I know he's making his g return. Shout out to him as well. Rocky. Yeah, exactly. Rocky, he's also driven a good race too. And Josh, Josh was dri driving a really good race until he pitted. So, um... Yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> There's been so much action, there's been, I, I can't keep up. You see though, during the restart, I'm particularly looking from anywhere between 4th and 9th, because that's where all the carnage tends to happen. Mm. You this, uh, what do you call it, the lag back in the restart, and it usually affects those cars. Yeah. You've got the bunch up, the move being made, the pressure is high. So usually when you're looking for a crash, <coughs> Those positions there as the source of that yeah, definitely. Oh, look at the back! Look at the back! They're all bunching up. So, who's that? Who's off the track? Is that Hurricane? That's Hurricane. Who's on the grass? What's going on with Hurricane? They're bunching up like it's NASCAR. Yeah. Luigi has this field slowed down. And that's the nice thing about being first, you know. You, you control your own pace. Yeah. Complete the over the start. Just to see how Luigi's gonna set this up for himself. And how Captain Lacking. Luigi's been very, very smart. And Luigi's on the hard tyres. I mean, I'd rather be in Coward's position, although Coward's tyres do expect them to fall off the cliff towards the end. Some of the drivers are pitting. Why is Hootsforce pitting now? 
Why are you pitting now? You had the whole safety car period to box and now you pit. That is not a good idea. And Luigi's done a good restart there. They're gonna catch and they're stacked back. Oh what's happened to Hurricane? He's left the session. Oh my goodness. And I think Oh Josh! Josh is in the barriers! Action everywhere you look! Goodness gracious. But Luigi's held onto his lead. Yeah. Is Josh is out! Josh is out on his G Suar debut! Oh what a shame! Sk oh! Rocky! Rocky! He's had a huge crash! Huge crash! Did you see that genius? Yeah, my goodness! Jeez! Another red flag! This race just does not stop giving! Wow, what an action patch race we're having here. And you know what? And yeah, literally, right now it's like a battle royale. What are we witnessing? <laughs> the last man standing up here. Yeah. It's crazy. And you know what? When um when when all that was happening, I think actually um cowards made the move for the leads. Oh no. Did you get the move done? I think he did. Oh, wow. <coughs> H Hurricane has joined. Huh? Luigi's not happy in the chat though. He's mm. not happy with Boston's frustrations here. Yeah, I don't blame him. By the way, expect Bezzy to go before everyone else. Expect that. Five lights are up. And it's lights out and away we go. Bezzy hasn't gone. I'm really confused. Bezzy hasn't gone. Uh, what's going on? Jacob leads! Genius, what is going on, mate? I am so. I'm just as confused as you are. Oh! Oh! Skin Dogs P4! Yeah! Drifting us down to a fifth. And the rest of the field following. This time, no real incidents. Can we keep it like that? The rest of the race. Oh. Uh, so we can go around the outside of Skin Dog. Can he get the move done? Why? Yes, he can. I'm really confused. Um, why Coward, Skin Dog, and Juice Lil Man didn't put on fresh softs? It's a say. It's a, a red flag restart. It's your chance to get new softs. As Sarax goes down the inside of Gibbo. Midget Matt wants some as well. Has Matt just gone wide? He's gone wide. Ah, oh, but he saves it. Save. Nearly turned this weekend upside down once again. Yeah. Matt and Hurricane battling for position. This has to be one of the craziest races. Hurricane's gonna send it! Hurricane's won! It's won! Oh, Hurricane! Hurricane's just turned Midget Matthew! Hurricane, did you see that? Hurricane, what have you done? No! Another thing's gone wrong in this weekend. Skin Dog takes his drive through. Oh, you've got a feel for the guy. And Jace, Jacob has fallen back down to earth here, it seems. Yeah. A bit of taken by Luigi and Coward. Tristan now on his tail. And remember, Cyrax was rock bottom. Look at him now. His position. He is flying. But you know what, Coward? I think he's made a mistake not boxing. I'll be I'll be 100% honest with you. I think Tristan's going to eat him. I think Tristan's going to eat him quite quickly. It depends though. He's going to have to see those two to the end. Mm. Can he just weather the storm? Yeah, definitely. That's the main thing. Well, but we're confident around this track, so he does know how to how to run it. Mm. You see, I think Juice Little Man and Charlie, I think, are battling here. Or seventh position. Charlie still doesn't have half a front wing. His left end plate's gone. So impressive, I still managed to rule that thing round. Yeah, him. Charlie does. He's really impressed me today. Very, very good. Well, but, uh. Four back for a second there. Mm. Oh, oh, Ollie Freeman. Uh, be expect, be ready for um, a lot of um, 
penalties and uh, penalty shouts. That's what I'm going to say as steward. Be be expecting for that. Be ready for that. Because there will be a lot of incidents report today. And just like that, Charlie, and do side by side again, Charlie. Kaysen. Oh, Charlie's gone wide. He's gone off track. I mean, desperate attempts to. Oh, Cal's sending it! Cal's sending it! But no, he can't get the move done. But I think he's going to get a double dose of DRS, will he? Yes, he does. Can he get it done here? No, he can't. Coward on those old, old mediums Ooh, is giving it everything. What a drive from Coward. He might have to be my drive of the day today because he's been brilliant. Here comes Tristan though. Tristan's in the mix now. Mm. He's too bad to slow them down. Again, Coward can have BRS. Can he, is he fast enough to take Luigi down the straight? I don't think so. No, not quite. Just like that, Tristan is right there now. Mm. The five three separated by less than a second. Six laps to go. Kind of to back off there, it seems. Whoa, Charlie Door. Charlie Door, jeez. Charlie Door. I think that was a little, little bit overly aggressive from Charlie Door in terms of defending. But Juice Lilman has managed to get the move done, nevertheless. Charlie Door's still there. Don't send him, mate. Juice Lilman runs wide. Coward here. He's going for the move here on Luigi down the inside. He's going to have the move down. Wow, this guy. This guy is good. This guy is good. Luigi's not going to give up there, though. Luigi. Oh, Coward's got the DRS still, though. And that saved him. Oh, no. Brilliant stuff for Coward. I knew he was going to strike for the lead sooner. Mm. So he had to too I think that's Matt. I think that's Matt. What's happened to Matt? Oh, midget Matt. What a bad race. What a race weekend from Coward, man. Oh, Luigi's there. Down the inside? No. No. He was there for a second. And I, 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 I swear he thought about it for a second. He was going down the inside, try the move. I think he's going to get. He's going to do it now. He's going to do it now. No, he's not. He's and smart. Tristan! And Tristan is there. And Luigi's been caught like a... Oh! Tristan punches him. Yeah. Oh you know what? Tristan could be leading um, when we leave um, the third sector. What a race this is we have on our hands for the lead. How are we going to... Luigi, Mr. Luigi's not going to give up here though, he's going to go down the inside, he's got the DRS and his man, he's going to make a double overtake, surely not! Oh! There he goes again though! And he manages to get the move done, he gets the move done! Wow, coward initially though, he closed the door with chest. Though. Yeah! Absolutely not, mm. not taking that from him. We have to see it in the end. We might have a bit of get back plan for the home straight here. Juice Lilman and Charlie Dool, they've been fighting for the last few laps. They touch, almost spins. Juice almost spun. What a race that we've been given today. What a race. Don't get me wrong, it's been very, very chaotic. Jeez, even Brandon is getting involved in the action too. Tristan begins to fall back ever so slightly. But yeah. He's just playing the waiting game, seeing what the guys in front of him are doing before he decides to pick up the pieces from there. Because Coward and Luigi scrapping as if it's the last lap. Oh! Outside. My goodness, he pulls this. No one. way. No way. No way. I can't believe this. Unused on 13 lap mediums, 9 lap older. Medium tires. That is amazing. That is amazing. Brilliant stuff from Coward. That's the Coward I remember. Mm. Wow. He's feeling it today, man. On his Williams return, you know, there's been a lot of skepticism. There's been a lot of, um, you know, 
bad bad words, bad news surrounding surrounding his name in terms of him, you know, always leaving and uh, and returning. But whether you like love him or you hate him, you have to admit he's been box office today. His tyres literally nine laps older, slower compound, and he's still putting up this this much level of a fight. Got Luigi applying pressure here. Might try and go around the outside. Cow went defensive. He's gonna get it. Coming. Yep, those right, yeah, it's the tires, it's the tires. And Tristan as well. Yep. And he's done it as well around the outside. Brilliant stuff from both Tristan <coughs> and Luigi. Picking off Cow. Wow, what a battle. What a battle man. Oh, that was He's that was not done. Oh, he was trying to take Tristan. Really took him there. This is so good. He's going down inside. Yeah, he's got him. Tristan has got past Luigi there. Cow's gonna have DRS as well. Oh big movement from Coward! The rear's locked. Is that a sign that he's beginning to unravel? Hmm. I mean, those tyres are old, man. I mean, he's on the second oldest tyres of the grid. Yellow flag at sector three. Oh, Hoots Force on his debut's just he spun the car. But do you know what, guys like Hurricane and Midget Matt, it's it's very upsetting what's happened to those two today. You know, two undeniable championship challengers and two drivers who you know can win, win races are now at the bottom you know very sad to see from both Ninja Man and Hurricane I'm mm. watching those guys back in the day yeah out constantly. unfortunately this time it's ended in heartbreak for both of them yeah both of them outside of the points but meanwhile the front with it Absolute feast of a battle here. Mm. Oh, Tristan hit the wall, I think. Yeah, he has. Affect him, or maybe it does actually, because Luigi and Coward are both all over the back of him. He might surround him. He's gone super defensive with Tristan. Who's gonna win? Oh! oh! Did you see that as well? Yeah, that was crazy. That was mad. <laughs> and Tristan is somehow still in the lead. Somehow. Wow, brilliant fighting from the trio. This is box office. Oh, Cow's had a big moment as well on exit. And somehow keeps P2. Wow. My goodness. We've only got one lap left of this now. Yeah, this is going to be the final lap. The final lap. Who's going to win? Tristan. Will we have Coward or will we have Luigi? Will we be listening to the Dutch national anthem? Will we be listening to the Scottish national anthem or will we be listening to the Italian? Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away for this final lap of the race. Coward's going to have DRS. Luigi's going to have DRS. Tristan has the lead of the race. Luigi's sending it on Coward. He's sending it. And somehow the two don't touch. They don't touch. Sensational stuff, but it's not over yet. There's still two more DRS zones left on the track. Can Tristan hold it together? I'm not sure if he can. Cowards done a brilliant job of somehow on those old tires. Keeping up with the leaders. Coward, it's gonna be a last lap move. Surely not. On his return to GCR, on his return to Williams Racing. It's gonna try around the outside. No, he can't get it done. He'll have one more go though, going into the, the right hander can he get him I'm not sure he can you know I'm not sure Luigi's gonna go down the inside guy is gonna go around the outside no way they touch they touch it's not over yet though cow's gonna fight to the end what are we witnessing cow's gone wide and Tristan looks like he's gonna win the three D3 Tristan coward and Luigi have given us a treat of a Grand Prix ah! Ah! No! No! <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way, coward! My driver of the day! My driver of the day! No, coward! Coward! No, coward! What have you done?
But anyways, whilst that was happening, Tristan crossed the line to win his second ever GSWAR Grand Prix. Congratulations to Tristan. Luigi makes it a, a, an AlphaTauri 2-3 from nowhere. Cyrax, what a drive, mate. What a drive. You've gone from last to P3. Gibbo, P4. Jacob, P5. Although I'm not sure if that will stand because of obviously the... the um, Disconnection rules. Um, Brandon on his debut P6. Bezzy, just like um, Jacob. I'm not sure if his P8 will stand. Juice Little Man P9. Uh, Skin Dog P10 with Charlie Dor and Midget Matt 11th and 12th. Although they could be going up depending on what happens to the two Aston Martins. What a race! And Hoots Force will come home in P13. Genius, what a race you were treated to, mate. Absolutely, that was fantastic. That battle at the end. Wow. Everyone giving their all. And unfortunately, Cal just a bit too much there in the last corner. Spun it out. Wow. Same for him, but Cyrax rises to third. Mike. Wow, what a race. What a race. What a race. Congrats, um, Tristan. You know he's going to be the championship leader. Oh, wow. So that's a crucial win for him. Mm. I don't know, I don't think uh, if you DNF you can get drive of the day, I can't lie. <clears throat> I would have given it to Coward, but who would you have given it to? Um, the drivers who finished, obviously. Drive of the day. It's a, it's a tough one. Hmm. I'd probably would give it to, I don't know, because Tristan, Luigi, Coward, they were up there nearly the whole time. The Cyrus can't really say the same for him. Hmm. He's been up and down the entire weekend. So, if anything, Wait what? Wait 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 wait. I think I've had desync. My thing's telling me Hurricane won. Is it? No, Hurricane didn't win. I think his thing desynced. But uh, yeah. Anyways, forget about Hurricane winning. Hurricane finished. I think it was P eleven or somewhere. But yeah. Anyways, guys, forget about what it says there. But yeah. Anyways, you're saying you're saying sorry sorry. Oh, as I was saying, yeah. So Cyrax, he went up and down the field this entire race, survived the red flags, the safety cars, the incident that were around him, picked his way through the, uh, through the positions, and then obviously when Coward won, unfortunately for him, I agree with you, he would have won drive on the day to win spin. Mm. But when he spun out, he was just there to inherit the podium, and he took it. Yeah. Fair to Cyrax, in my opinion, driving the day. Yeah, I think definitely Cyrax. Uh, there were many, many close shouts. Luigi, Tristan, <clears throat> just to name a few. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely. If if it wasn't for, um, if it wasn't for Coward um, bottling it like that, I think definitely uh, it would have been him. But yeah, Cyrax, it was. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Ollie Freeman, he's going to be a busy man in incident reports, man. I'd hate to be him. I'd hate to be him. I mean, some people may say that you should get paid for jobs like this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's got his work out for him. Yeah, I mean, with with help from uh, Track Titan, <coughs> um, you know, who knows, that, that may be happening. Um, one last one last um, shout out to Track Titan. Um, obviously, Track Titan are a sim racing platform, which uh, you know they help you from being a complete no one to help you to be the next Yano Opmi in the sim racing world. They offer sim racing coaches a uh, coaching, um, and they will analyze every breaking point, every corner, every lap um, of every race. They will help you find every little second to every little you know hundredth of a second. So yeah, go check out um, Track Titan. Our sponsors, uh, go use code GSWARTT for your first month free and your first full, uh, fully paid month, you get 30% off. So yeah, go use code GSWARTT. But yeah, what a what a Grand Prix we had today. Um, let's see what the drivers are saying in, in the, the cool down room, shall we? <coughs> um, uh, da -da. Press the interviews. Genius, can you hear that? Alright, alright. Um, do you want to join the present interviews, Genius? Yeah, 
All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, coward, heartbreak, man. I'm, oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Uh, at least I can see I'm back, Jack. You're back. back. You're back, man. Jeez. I mean, tell us about your race. I mean, you were amazing. Three flags on and that. Three <coughs> flags on and that. I won that race. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? Well, I mean, we we were literally just speaking about you. We said, um, you know, drive all day. Uh, I don't know if you can get drive all day if you DNF, but you know, you were amazing. <laughs> um. Obviously, those, like being on those tires, we were like, "What is he doing? Not pitting?" Um, was, but somehow he managed to make it work. Like, it works. I mean, with you, it works. I don't know why you didn't go on the soft. I had it all calculated. I had it all calculated. Obviously, you did. I mean, it, it worked a treat. But um, yeah, tell us your race, man. Uh, it was a, uh, it was not qualifying. Uh, wet weather was not the greatest thing for me, so that was horrid. Mm. Then comes sprint race. Did you see the race start? That was yeah. nuts. <laughs> um, I have a question though. P1 in a corner. So, um, did Bezzy uh, jump the start for you guys too, or was it just on my screen? It's he the yeah. Aston Martin. He, he lagged out. He, he lagged out. out. Yeah, if he desyncs, car just jumps the start for some reason. Oh, uh, I was so I confused. I almost jumped the start myself when I saw him do it. I think I got like a zero second reaction time and like a second restart or something. Yeah. Chikonas, I'm yeah. Bessie. I, I wasn't at the sprint. Uh, my internet went off. Oh, your internet went off? Yes, so, it was, yeah, for it a while. Was, it was, it was there, really probably. crazy. So I screamed to my dad, and then my dad got mad at me because, like, uh, you know, he was mad at me to come tell all sorts of stories. <coughs> but, like, um, yeah, my internet went off. And I was, I don't know where I finished going to fly, but uh, I did not um, jump as far as Yeah, nah, Someone nah. Else, um, your, your AI Aston basically, Martin. your your AI basically, like, DNF, so. No, it's alright. You showed well, decent pace well, when you were. Get rid of them anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm very really sure we did not show up, guys. No, no, it's okay. It's not well, your fault, bro. It's your internet. It's fine. It's fine. Trust it's fine. Me. Don't worry, man. There's always next week as well. There's always next week, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, coward, man. What were you, you were still telling telling us about your race? Sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just farming clips for the Instagram. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating content. So. Oh, sweet one, mate. You better sweet. thank me. Yeah. <laughs> First, I get George Ross at the last lap, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you plan it down there, fucking banana. Oh. <laughs> Alright, um, I've got a question for um, Brandon. On your debut, on your um, G Swat debut, how was that? Obviously, you managed to score some decent points too. Oh, my mic is very quiet, so you might have to turn me up. Yeah, try and speak up. Please, uh, just speak up a little louder, please, or, you know, something. Hey, turn them up on Discord. Uh, yeah, I, my, this is a really trashy mic. So I didn't know I could do that. How do you turn people up on Discord? I've never done this before. You, uh, click your, you click the profile thing and then you scroll down until you. And there should be like a little volume slider. Uh. But. Nah, I have no idea what's going on. Anyways, just speak, it's fine. Um. Yeah, I guess it's kind of dirty. Everyone was kind of being dirty then tired. <coughs> and there's no body. Mm -hmm. Everyone was nobody. I nobody was not involved in an incident. I think everybody was involved in an incident. Mm -hmm. uh, you managed to, you know, get some good points on your debut. Were you expecting this? I should have just not. It kind of suck at Australia, but I guess considering, well, the red flag came in at a horrible timing. I, me and uh, the Haas, I forgot his name. We pit because uh, we collided in the car because I, I kept getting brake checked by somebody in front of him. Um, and then I flag came out the next lap mm. and I was in like last place. And then I went for softs and I just raced my way up there. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a decent debut. Um, <clears throat> obviously, points, that's what you know matters. Um, and yeah, hopefully, you can get many more this season. My next question is going to be to. Who's here? Uh, Cyrax, Cyrax. <clears throat> um, first of all, congratulations on the podium. I bet you weren't expecting that. Um, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I feel really bad for a coward because he was doing great all race. I don't know what happened, but all I did was come out of the final corner and just on bend. Mm -hmm. I mean, you take it. Besides that, um, me and Luigi are both very happy that we got a double podium. We should have had one last week. Mm. I mean, the car, the car 
car was fast in the wet. The car was good in the dry. But if not for all the chaos during the racing, I would have been up there, period. Yeah. I mean, that qualifying lap seemed beastly, man. I mean, <laughs> how was that qualifying lap? Just describe it in the wet as well. Um, it, it felt perfect. I was, like, just one with the car, I guess. Mm. That was That was something special, man. That was... I think that's your second podium as well um, in three races, two podiums in three ra yeah. two poles, sorry, in in three races. Yeah. So <clears throat> definitely, that was a very very special lap. And I mean, tell us about lap one in sprint race with Charlie. What happened there? Um, I had zero idea what happened. He was in my spline spot, so I couldn't see him. Hmm. I might be at fault for that one, but I'm not sure. We'll probably talk about it later. Yeah. I mean, how I saw it, it looked very, very close. I don't know if it was a... I think it was a racing incident, obviously, lap one, turn I mean, one. It's been a racing incident, in my opinion. Yeah. It's lap one, so it's whatever. But obviously, we've got to see more angles, so... Um, yeah, and um, that comeback drive as well, I mean, it must be really frustrating, because obviously, your pace is up there, definitely, with the top three. But the fact you kept on, you know, getting sent back down the grid again, and then having to make another comeback, and then there'll be a safety car, and then you get... You know, it was just... It was very messy. So tell us how the comeback drive was. It was fun, but it was very, very, and I mean very frustrating. Mm. Very frustrating. It was tiring. Yeah. I mean, it looked very mentally uh, you know, tough. Uh, Genius, have you got any questions? Very. Can I just say, as right, like, going on to your question, Chick, yeah. that those, that, I think the two drive through penalties that me and, uh, Cyrax had were pretty rough, I'm gonna say, because it did put us like 50 back in the grid. I think I came out like two spots ahead of you, I can't Yeah, I know, I was so annoyed because you overcut me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'll stay out until like the last lap that's starting to disqualify me from yeah. the race. Alright, my next question just... actually is gonna be for Gibbo. I mean, where did you finish? I think it was fourth, wasn't it? You finished fourth, didn't you? Uh, Fourth, yeah. Yeah, I mean, once again, just missing out on the podium. But I mean, in terms of the the driver standings, you're quite high now. Obviously, fifth place in the first race, fourth. Who knows? Maybe third next race. Just tell us how was that race um, from your POV? Um, it was very painful, to be fair. I mean, going into the with seven ups remaining, basically being third. Mm -hmm. uh, Got a lot of floor damage towards the end, and I mean, I was, I think, an Alfa Romeo went straight into the back of me trying to overtake me. I mean, it was a very sloppy race, and it was, you don't see Yeah, it. not that fun, but I'm glad with the end result. Yeah, I mean, again, it was just one of those results, because this race was so chaotic, I couldn't keep up with everything. It was like three laps to go, I just realised, oh, Gibbo's P4, look at that. I just realised, so. Yeah, it, was a, that, it, it was a race, very much like, oh, like that. <laughs> That's cool. Didn't even realise. So yeah, but you know, brilliant points for you. Another great drive from you. Um, next question is going to be for Noah. Uh, you DNF'd quite early on in the race. Um, how do you DNF? Um, so we made a bad strategy call and we actually put on the wrong setup. So we just kind of knew we were going to be in a horrible spot. Mm -hmm. uh, in the sprint race, kind of just started from the sprint race. We had a bad qualifying because we had to have the right setup on. We had a, I forgot honestly what happened in the sprint race. I think something to do with the reset car restart. Uh, just like I got in an incident, which kind of put me back. So I decided to retire out of the race. The race started dead last, was good. Had a great start, gained 10 spots in lap one. Um, was going pretty well. And then, what happened? And then a safety car came out. There was a big brake check. I lost my front wing. I decided to pit early and just try to like go to the end. And, that pitting, but then some of the slower drivers I caught up to, and when trying to overtake them, they just decided that they didn't want me to pass them, so they put me in the wall, and then that's how I DNF'd. Mm. Yeah, the brake check needs to be like so just to disappointing, it. and I think I'm gonna retire now. I mean, if if it is if it is you know um, time up for you in, in G Swa and you're gonna retire, I mean, I had a decent career. I think. Um, you definitely had had pace. Did you ever win a race? <clears throat> uh, not officially. I think I had a couple wins, but they all got taken away. Oh uh, yeah, that one at Monaco, wasn't it? When we had our really good battle. So yeah, definitely you had yeah, the I, I, I you you had the pace to definitely win. Um, we will miss you if this is 
you know that's it and um, enjoy your retirement if you're calling it a day um, next question is going to be for surf apps a lot obviously you again you're another driver who DNF quite early in the race uh, how do you DNF mate well after the race started I was doing my own thing two cars decided they wanted to break early the other one hit the guy in front and I hit the guy behind I lost my left end plate I'm sorry I'm trying to do a quality lap. I lost my left end plate because of that I basically had to oversteer the whole understeer the whole race I was still able to keep up with one of the Ferraris I was doing well I was up in the P12 and then the Red Bull decided he wanted to just knock me coming out of the final turn I spun around I ended up back in 14th I'm going, it's Skin Dog is there. I got past Skin Dog with damage. We're battling it out. Then one of the Alpha Romeos got up. He decides he wants to pass on the inside in a line that was closing and never existed. And we both spun and we're in the wall. Jeez, that must sound really frustrating. And, you know, that's two races in a row now that you've DNF'd. Um, into go, you know, Singapore's next. Right. Singapore's next. Are you hoping for any any more luck? Any more you know good luck at least, or or what? Well, as long as I don't meet Skin Dog in qualifying, I should be fine. I lost my entire wheel because he decided to park on the braking line. It mm. made no sense why he would even be on the left side of the track going into a right turn if he wanted me to pass in the wet. You couldn't see anything. Yeah. It made absolutely no sense. Yeah, I understand your frustration. I'm very sorry about that. Um, oh, we've got Oli Freeman as well. Um, do you want to you know, have a word, Oli Freeman? How how's that race? How's that race, mate? That was that was a brilliant race. <laughs> that, that final battle with Luigi, Tristan, and Coward. Oh, that was amazing. Mm, that was amazing. You're watching from the paddock. I I was, I was. The thing is, I don't get how Coward was still there. You know, with those old mm, tires. That's what I was saying was too. It? <laughs> Ten lap old mediums and he was still there fighting. I was so gassed. Wow. I was screaming in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still on a Zen of your author or is it? No, nah, no, nah, it's still going on. It's still going on. Oh shit, you still had to get in a drink, brother. <laughs> no, but I was so good because I was so gassed. Oh, oh, I thought was... he was going like, to get a pony or something. And I looked down and I thought, oh, hang on, he's, like, he's DNF. And I thought, how has he done that? Oh, that was. But, that yeah, was crazy. I'm still happy for him because I think he's still done a brilliant job. Mm, he's still think, done a brilliant job. Yeah, definitely. You know, condolences yeah. to obviously Coward and, and your team Williams. But, you know, you guys showed decent pace. Even Skin Dog. What's your thoughts on Skin Dog? Your driver. Oh, he, he's had a rough race off, all, but despite mm. all that, he's, he's managed to do alright. Yeah, decent pace. But um, mm. I'm, proud of, I'm proud of both my drivers. Yeah, well, um, obviously, obviously, right. obviously Sir Fapsalot said that um, um, Skin Dog was the reason to. Uh, you know why his weekend was so bad uh, any any response any response to that are you going to control I mean, skin dog or, or what I have, to, I have to look at i have to look at all the uh the clips i mean i i'm focusing on that at the moment mm. but um I'll look, I'll look tomorrow i'll yeah. do it when i write the steward's report obviously i need your help as well because it involves yeah. more drivers but all right yeah, De yeah. that's definitely mate yeah. that's definitely uh next question right. is going to be for juice juice little man um it was a tough race, you know, in, in your Alpine. Could you describe for us, like, what actually happened in your race? Okay, so, like, during the, like, the sprint race, like, I don't know what happened during the sprint race. I got cycled down to P16 in the sprint race. Ended up finishing P6, so... Mm, that was a good drive. Just to start, start the race, it did okay. It made some questionable strategy calls. Then, kind of, like, it was my fault. I had an oversteer and I accidentally, I couldn't come back down. So, like, I hit Atomics. Yeah, that was, like, I couldn't do anything. But toward the end of the race, like, I kind of was just, like, I was in P, like, 7 to 8. I couldn't defend myself because Charlie, like, just kept wrecking me. Like, he was corner-cutting almost every trip. Like, I, I had to go straight on multiple, on multiple occasions. Because mm -hmm. he was, like, yeah, I had ring damage. And I couldn't defend from people like Brandon who were attacking. Mm. I mean... <sighs> Pace-wise, it seemed like you had a little bit of pace, but obviously, as you just said, you know, you encountered a lot of bad luck in that race. So, um, hopefully, we see you in the next race, and uh, hopefully, we see you, you know, getting podiums and, and getting some more points. Uh, next question is going to be for Costas. Obviously, this was your your debut. What what are your thoughts on G after your debut, mate? <clears throat> well, it was uh, really funny. Uh, I want to apologize to Brandon. <laughs> 
and I hope I can race again with you guys and maybe improve my driving. Yeah, I mean, it was only your debut, so um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, how are you feeling for Singapore? Have you ever done Singapore in the sim or something? Uh, yeah, and I was really bad at it. Oh. <laughs> oh well. It's, it's, it's all but good. I don't, I don't know if I will be able to race then, though. Because yeah. of work, but we will see. Yeah, hopefully you can, man. Hopefully you can. You know, we want to see you back on the grid. We want to see you, you know, fighting again. You know. Um, next yeah, question. I hope I can race with you again. Yeah, hopefully you can, man. Hopefully you can. <laughs> next, next question is going to be for um, going to be for coward. Um, uh, what was my question? Uh, my question is to coward. Obviously, we had twenty drivers. Um today and obviously you know you've been with GCR for literally basically since it was born so what are your thoughts with, with 20 drivers? I don't know half the time since it was born considering how many times I've left <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough I respect the honesty there but you know 20 drivers um, you know what, what are your thoughts on that do you think it went well obviously I know it was, it was very very chaotic but what would you do to improve it? I'm just happy that I was able to not lag throughout the whole race. Yeah, I mean... That was possibly a spectacle. Um, many of the other, you know, um, top top drivers, shall we say, such as Hurricane, were complaining about having 20 drivers. Um, do you, are you... What are you? Are you for 20 drivers? Are you against 20 drivers? What are you? I feel like there will be a different skill set to be shown when there's 20 drivers and it's the skill set that should be put in place more. Mm. Most definitely. I mean, uh, a lot of the times, you know, you can get away, well, not a lot of the times anymore, but before, um, when we were a little bit sl uh, smaller, if you were let's say having a bad weekend it wouldn't really reflect because you'd still finish p5 p7 you know but now if you're having a bad look weekend hmm? look at last race I, I crashed out uh, after when well, there's no one and I fuck it, like one lap later end up back in p5 yeah exactly something like that but you know something because obviously last race I think we had 14 drivers which is still decent you know but obviously when you have when, you, when there's 20 drivers um, every little temp is literally gonna matter and um, you know, drivers get exposed if maybe they're not at the quality they should be racing at, you know? So, I mean, my thought is that I think 20 drivers is good. Obviously, it was a little bit confusing with some of the new boys coming in and team-wise and this and that, but I'm totally for 20 drivers, you know? Same, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's it with, with the interviews. Um, and that's it with say, that's it with GCO. Oh, what do what's you want to say, Sir Absolut? What would you like to say? What's the point of twenty drivers, man? If you're not even going to be able to complete quality because some idiots don't know where to park their car on track. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly what I'm saying. It's like you're the one that's going to suffer for it because now you're stuck at the back with the fifteen other idiots. I there needs to be, there to be, you need to add like a you should be able to have to get a certain time at a certain track to be allowed to race. What do you say? Like there needs to be a minimum. There needs to be like a minimum speed that you have to be the race. Like, oh yeah. In like how uh, uh, like most uh, leagues are good, they they have like a yeah exactly. They have like when you have, when you sign up, you have to like set a time and prove that you are this fast to be able to allow the race. Because there's just some people that are here, and I'd rather it be. I mean, it might not be as many, but I'd rather like ten fast drivers or ten good drivers than twenty drivers where ten of them are very bad because they ruin qualifying. And then if you're not at the back, if you're at the back of the race, then you're just What's the point? What's it's the point not even time? pace. There's a lot of these guys have pace, but like Atomics, he's fast. He can get quality done, but he just doesn't know how to drive. Well, how are you hitting people on a safety car? It makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. I think. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> sorry about that. I'm definitely with your point. Your guys' points. I understand what you mean. Um, you know, you'd rather have maybe a smaller grid with ten top drivers than maybe. A larger grid with some drivers who are, let's say, uh, more inexperienced. But um, maybe I don't know. Sorry. What about qualifying? Do you think we should have full qualifying? I mean, we would have had it's, full qualifying it's today. For hundred percent full qualifying. So we would have had it today, but obviously it's a it's a sprint re weekend, sprint weekend. So true, but I, maybe we just don't. Do it. Uh, I, I, I don't know because some of the drivers. The experiences are kind of carnage because like people are just they like oh it's a sprint race let me send it and then they wreck. 
So yeah. I think maybe we just don't even have race or experience, but I think it's just up to, to me. So. I don't I don't want to call names, but despite the fact that I had wing damage last race, Skin Dog he was fine for a while, but then he wanted to pass me by taking lines off the track. He started cutting turn nine, turn ten, hitting me in the sides. It makes no sense, bro. You can't pass, you just can't fucking pass. Yeah, I mean, uh, I understand like your frustrations most definitely. I think Stewart, he's going to be very, very busy today. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I, me, as I said, I'd rather have twenty drivers. But it's what's best for the league. Um, um, I think qualifying, whether we do long qualifying or short qualifying, that's big. Coward, what's your thoughts? Obviously, in the paddock, you were saying you wanted short qualifying. But uh, yeah, what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts, man? Uh, I don't think with 20 drivers, so quality would work. With, but do you think, because even at like, eSport level, they still reset all these four do you think, mm. and like, so qualify. So I just don't think it would work. And it's helping on the glitch. No, no. I think desync. That's yeah, probably. Also, it was there was a lot of people disconnecting like back and forth, and like there's some glitches with stuff. Yeah. Mm. And like the start was kind of messy. Like sometimes like jumping, but then I actually jumping. It's just. Oh, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't really the start. It was the damn AI and the Aston Martin that kept driving off. It kept. It kept cutting yeah. me off guard too. He yeah. just driving off when the lights were full you red. Me off guard. Oh, really yeah. tripping me. When I was commentating, I'd, I'd be like lights out and away we go. And yeah. So the Aston Martin driving away. Maybe quit. And maybe put safety car and reduce. Maybe. Because I mean, wait, I don't know if it already is or not, but nah, it's not standard right now. Safety car is really clutch. It's just the VSCs that annoys me. The first VSC, if you look at the track map, literally the other nine people are like five seconds up the field. The rest of the pack is just like gathered up together all the way at the back. Those are huge gap. It was just dumb, and I just had to sit there watching people trying to pass each other on the VSC. We were literally 10 seconds down on lap up on Delta. It was just dumb. Hmm. I understand your point. But yeah, I'm, I mean, this definitely will be a, a conversation that's going to continue for weeks to come. Um, thank you, everyone, for um, watching today's stream. Uh, your race winner, Tristan. So congratulations to him. Um, and yeah, hopefully... We'll be able to see you guys um, at the next race at Singapore uh, in a week's time. So, yeah, hopefully we can see you there. And for now, me, Genius, and everyone.